ladies and gentlemen, and... Hello ladies and gentlemen, and today we review Pokemon Black and White. Wow. Um, yeah, so this is actually the legendary Pokemon that you can catch in White version. I know, it sort of surprised me too, Do you think that the Pokemon would go with the color it has, sort of like, silver went with Lugia, gold went with Ho-Ho, but no. They, they mixed it up. Anyway, as you can see here, cutscenes. Yeah, that, that's most definitely new. I really don't think I remember any cutscenes in any of the games previous. So, yeah, there's something else. Anyway, here is the one that you can catch in the black version of the game. Um, I can't remember its name. It's like Rye something else, but it's a badass. As are both the legendaries in this, ladies and gentlemen, it's got to be one of my favorite Pokemon games I've actually ever played. And, anyway, you start off with starters, and you end up battling both of your rivals a girl and a guy this time around, rather than just one rival. Anyway, so the three starters, you saw two of them right there, and we're going to show you a clip in a second about it with the other one. So I'm going to keep talking anyway. Um, yeah, look at the room. It even gets trashed in the beginning. That, that's a new one. Anyway, so yeah, here's the other one, the leaf-type Pokemon that I'm fighting here. Um, yeah. Anyway, so you can have some new interesting little things, like for instance, in this case, you can have triple battles. Yeah, that blew my mind too. Anyways, you can sort of see in this little part right here that there's some new mechanics. I mean, it actually is somewhat different. Pokemon are always moving rather than just still sprites. Sure, this looks a little bit annoying after a while, but it works. Also, something they've added is seasons to this game and cities, which are really interesting because they actually look like cities this time around. They're not just little towns. It's actually really, really pretty cool what they've done. Um, but yeah, with the seasons, it's rather interesting what they've done. Um, you can only catch certain Pokemon in certain seasons. Interesting little add-on. Anyway, also the evolution screen is right here. Nice and cool, right? So yeah, look at that. Spinning around. Doing the same old thing that you usually do. Anyway, so your goal, as usual, is to... Win. Be the Pokemon Master. Catch them all, you know. Same thing it's been since you were like four. But it's a great game. Um, I mean, by just them doing this, what you can see in these clip scenes is just making it completely changed over, redoing it, fixing it, making it a hundred times better because it actually moves with you and it, it makes it feel a lot cooler. In all honesty, it makes it seem rather interesting. Gym battles are just as intense as they were in the previous games and it's just fun. It got... It, it kept the same thing that it's always had by an, adding some new Pokemon that are interesting, and I mean, I'd be lying if I said that it wasn't a better game because of it. And, I mean, you gotta take it in the middle of the, the new bosses and everything else are badass. Look at this thing. And I mean, look at what it does. I mean, that's awesome. You could have done that in previous games. Anyway. So you, there's a new team in this one called Team Plasma, um, rather than the old Team Aquas and everything else. So it's rather interesting. And honestly, I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. Why? Because it's an exceptional game. So I urge every single one of you on March 6th to go out and get it, because it's pretty damn fun. And anyway, it keeps with the formula, it perfects it, and as a matter of fact, it adds a whole bunch of new stuff that is just awesome and that actually makes the series better for those very reasons. Alrighty, so I'll talk to you later.